Hi, it's Dave T here, and our Bailey Caravan came with this fairly standard wire plate rack which holds the plates vertically. It's a pretty poor design, it's inconvenient to use because you have to reach past the small plates at the front to get to the big plates at the back. It takes up a considerable amount of space for how many plates it stores. It does a pretty bad job of keeping the plates in place, meaning they rattle around and quite often fall out of the actual cupboard when you arrive on site. Now we did actually go to our local caravan accessory shop and did find this uh, plate holder from a company called Froley which does hold plates fairly well however it's a one, five, one size fits all and it holds six plates which means the larger plates kind of overhang a bit more than I would uh, find ideal and also it means it doesn't store them very efficiently because all of the slots to hold the plates are spaced based on the large size plates rather than the smaller ones. It also holds six plates, we have eight plates which means we're either going to have to sacrifice two plates or we'll have to get two of these which means it's going to take even more space than it really needs to. If you are interested in the Froley then I'll put a link in the description below as to where you can get one. Now those of you that watch this channel will know that I've recently purchased a 3D printer with the purpose of solving little engineering problems just like this. Intent on making my own solution, I fired up Fusion 360 design software and set about actually designing my own. Now I wanted to make this system so it held the plates vertically since that's the easiest way to get the plates in and out and most efficient in terms of space. And also because of the size constraints of 3D printing, I designed it as a modular system where each individual rack was printed as two parts. So for each plate, it's two parts. And this also meant you can print off as many large and small racks as you need and create different combinations. So in our case, we've got four large and four small, but you could have three large and three small or four large and two small, which, whichever combinations you wanted. The racks that I modelled were based on our Primel, also known I believe as Flamefield uh, set. It's a fairly common set of uh, plates for kind of caravanning and camping. And those were with two diameter, two different size of plates, the larger 27 centimetre diameter plates and the smaller 20 centimetre side plates. The base plate has a curved slot, which is the exact diameter of the plate, and also an upstand at the front, which stops the plate from rolling forward. The back piece has a simpler slot at the back, which extends past the midpoint of the plate to ensure vertical stability. The back and base pieces are both fixed with small screws, and because they slot together, you don't have to screw every single rack into position. And of course, you could glue them together as one block in the configuration that you wanted and then just use a couple of screws or less screws to fix them in place. I also made a spacer module with no slots in it which goes in between where the large and the small plates go. That's because the large plates are deeper so they need a bit more width at that point. It also means that overall the width of the eight plate rack that we're using is the absolute bare minimum with only about four or five millimeters of space in between each plate. I also made this simple three pronged base for holding the uh, cereal bowls in place. Now I'm not convinced this is the ideal design. I might have to increase the size of the prongs or do something else because it kind of held them in position but not that well when traveling so I'm going to improve upon that. Also as a final thing for when traveling I did actually also make these grip strips which can be slotted onto the top of the plates just to give them a bit more rigidity when traveling. Now the grip strip is actually printed in TPU which is a polyurethane based filament so it's a bit more kind of rubbery which helps grip and also it's more flexible to allow for kind of squeezing it in the top for a little bit of extra stability. But as I say, I'm not convinced that's actually required because the racks as they are do actually hold the plates pretty well. So was it all worth it? Well, it actually holds all eight of our plates and is about 20 millimeters, so two centimeters narrower than the Froley rack, which only holds six. So it's certainly space saving compared to the Froley. Compared to the original wire rack, it's about half the, the actual uh, width. So it's saving loads of space in the cupboard, making it a lot easier to put other bits and pieces in there. In terms of ease of use, it's very easy to get any of the plates in and out um, much easier to get them and of course when traveling then they're much more securely held which means the plates don't get scratched up but, but more importantly they don't you're not worried about them falling out every time you arrive on site. Now cost wise you obviously need either a 3D printer or access to a 3D printer to print these but at about 40 grams for, of filament per rack 
the overall is about 76 pence per plate which means to print the eight plate rack that we made including electricity was less than 10 pounds so it's comparable to the cost of the Froley one or if you're gonna to have to buy two of the Froley ones but about half the price if you have access to a 3D printer then I will upload these onto Thingiverse and put a link into the description where you can download them completely free of charge and print them. I hope you found this video helpful or interesting and if you have then please do hit that like button and if you're interested in seeing other videos I make then please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell icon to notify yourself of videos when I post them. But most of all, thanks for watching.